Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I am sharing with you my Mother's Day card. Now, Mother's Day is already passed here in the UK, but I know it's upcoming in other countries, but this card definitely can be used for other occasions. It's just the sentiment that I happen to put on it. So I hope you enjoy making this card with me as recently I will put details of dimensions, etc. on the screen and links to products all of that kind of stuff and photos will be on the blog post just use the link below this video so I've got this wonderful cardstock that it was in my stash it's a hunky-dory cardstock but I have to be honest I'm not sure exactly now what collection or anything like that but I basically took this 8x8 card base that I had because it was a pre-made one which is kind of handy and then I cut down this lovely green and this beautiful floral. Next I had this gorgeous digi stamp by Lily of the Valley and I printed that out on some Copic cardstock and it's just a gorgeous cute little stamp. I added the love you myself um, because it's a digi stamp it's easy to do and we're going to colour that in. I'm going to pop some music on today rather than me chatter about the colouring so if you don't want to listen to the music just pop the volume down and then I will continue after the colouring is done. <laughs>
So that's the colouring all done and I'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to start on constructing the card and getting all the bits and pieces ready. So first of all I'm going to die cut a lovely frame that I want to use on my colouring piece. Now I will be cutting that out as well but first of all I'm going to just cut the white frame out and it's this beautiful ornate kind of florally sort of just really pretty piece now if you'll notice that I've slightly angled it it's very detailed and there's two dies going on here I have got the magnetic platform so that's why I haven't stuck that down now it looks like I just went through once and then it was done but actually I went through a couple of times I had to put a shim on it as well because it was quite detailed and so you needed to really make sure it was cut out what I often do is actually take the two clear 
plates up and have a peer through on the other side to see if it's cut through okay before I take it apart to make sure um, and there you can see that piece all cut out and it was so pretty I really really liked it so then I just took the external piece that you saw that was of the two dies that we just used there of that floral bit and I popped it around the outside of my lovely drawing piece here now I had to put that through straight because of the way that the drawing was I wanted to make sure that um, it would cover it evenly and I couldn't therefore twist it and now you can see how the two outside edges obviously are a perfect fit and then you've just got that white which just overlaps the drawing and just makes it look really really pretty I then took the same outside bit and cut it again and that was to go on the inside just because I'm using this gorgeous uh textured no, textured and coated cardstock and there's no way that I could write on top of that even if I had like a permanent marker I think it would be just be you just wouldn't see the writing so I thought the easiest thing to do is to cut a shape that matches the front and it would look complimentary I thought it would look nice sort of bringing that into the inside as well we sort of bring in the colors but not exactly the same pattern onto the inside and so I thought this would be kind of nice and I just really liked that sort of bringing the two together that kind of complementing and as you know if, if you've watched me before I do like to do a little bit of something on the inside of the card one to make the weight a little bit more even because often if you do a few layers on the front the the inside even if it's a good cardstock suddenly feels really lightweight in by just by comparison but also if you've done quite a lot of work on the front and then you open it up and it's completely plain I, I always think it looks a little bit disappointing you're just like oh okay wasn't expecting that so I always like to do something on the inside so then I just stuck my patterned piece on the front as well again for both of those I just did a flat um, stick using some wet glue and then for this piece I don't normally really like the spray glues very much but this was so much detail going on with this sort of filigree etc that I really just thought the easiest thing was to actually just spray it and I used the um, permanent spray adhesive and I think that just would be okay for what I'm doing here and I know that I'm going to be putting some bits over the top so then I took some ribbon I wasn't quite exactly sure to start with what I wanted to do and then I decided what I'd do is make like a a bow but with lots of loops so I just wrapped it around my hand when I thought I'd done enough I cut just a little bit sort of so that I still had a bit of a tail and then I took that tail and I just sort of you can see I'm holding it and then I'm popping it between my two fingers there and wrapping it around the center then taking the other end of the tail and just knotting it so I'm it's basically like using one of those bow makers but just using my fingers as a bow maker instead um, and I sometimes find that just easier and quicker to do and then just tightening that on the back there to make this sort of multi looped bow and then I'm going to just cut those ends to just a little bit more sort of sensible length just to make it more sort of appropriate for the bow um, and the card really I wasn't entirely sure at this point exactly what I was doing so I had a fiddle with the bits and pieces that I had and I kind of came up with some sort of plan and it involved that potentially putting some bits that might sort of slide under the edge of my centerpiece here the um, the patterned sort of colored piece so I put the foam tape just into the center and didn't put foam on the edges and I double thickness the foam as well I did two layers of the foam so it had a bit of depth to it but when I popped it down I wasn't happy with the fact that it was really um, sinking at the sides so I actually as you can see I slid two pieces at the top and bottom and I did the same at the two edges and the corners crossways on the diagonals of the corners as it were they stayed open so any bits that I thought I might need to tuck under I still had that space there which is where they were going to be if anywhere um, and then I just took some flowers that I had in my stash and I stuck those 
up the top end there and pop those down using the glue gel now you could use hot glue if you want but I used the glue gel because it didn't set immediately and I wanted some time to play around not so much with the flowers because those were, I knew roughly where they were going but with this bit so what I did here was as you saw I just put a blob of the glue down pop that lovely sort of pearl sort of embellishment really and then I took another sort of floral piece these were just all elements that I had in my stash we've all got bits like this somewhere you can just sort of grab what works for you and I pop these in and then what you want to do is put the glue gel over the top as well of your stalks and then when it dries it's completely encased and that will be sufficient with everything else that we're going to be doing as well to really hold it in place then I added a bit more glue gel because I'm going to be adding some more elements and the first bit that I'm going to be adding is the bow so we pop this down now I have got some stick pins which I'm going to put in which I wanted to stick in underneath the bow and if you want to if you find it easier you could put those in first but I really wasn't exactly sure of the angles and the position of them and I felt that having the bow there would help me work out exactly where I wanted them and it did take some fiddling I, I sort of cut some of that out because I sort of fiddled around for quite some time to get the stick pins and the angle of the the bow in the right place so then I started sticking down my flowers now this particular silk flower I put a really big blob of the glue gel on the back and so that it had some height and as you saw I didn't really squash it too much you don't need to with the glue gel as long as you've definitely got some adhesion between the item and and the thing you're sticking it to you don't need to push it too much because it will set solid and then I just put the two little white flowers on as well and I think that finished it off really really nicely I just think the colors worked really well with the colors of the drawing and to be honest it was pure luck because as always I colored the image in and then decided to work out what piece of card I was going to use which obviously is totally the wrong way around you really ought to find your piece of card then color in to match it but anyway it works as always I'm always seem to be lucky like that and then I just added those lovely little shimmer glitter dot, um, gems in the corners and I thought that looked really nice finishing off on the front there and then I found a stamp in my stamping up set that said happy mum day and it had like a little heart for the for the u or the o because it could work for both um american and uh uk versions of the word mum which is kind of cool but i decided i thought i'd finished on the front but then i thought no because i really know that my mum because this is for my mum obviously it's a mother's day card um i know that she really loves glitter so i was like okay she's not going to be able to say that there's not enough glitter on this card so i went in with my stickles and the first thing i did was the stickles on the white flowers originally i started off using my finger because it helps sort of spread it out but i found actually with these flowers the petals and the way that they were overlapping it was actually easier just in the end to just use the little nozzle then i used like a little green color that I had to go over the green I just went over the frame I decided not to go on the leaves um, and then I had an it was it's called coffee ice but it's almost like a sort of a warm pinky color and I used that for the inside of the little sheep ears and then I went back to the crystal glitter and I just added some sort of dots of it onto the sort of wool part of their head and and the body of them and I just thought that looked really cute as well and it was sort of dotty so it kind of made emphasize that kind of texture of their wool and then finally I had this gorgeous yellow it didn't give it a name I just put yellow in my details there for you but it didn't actually have a name on the on the packet of what it was so anyway I used that for the center of the card and I thought that just really finished it off nicely and I was actually really really pleased with it and it being an eight by eight card you had the room and the space to add all these elements and still see all that beautiful card stock behind and I think the colors were worked really well together so that is my mother's day card but as i said at the beginning this could easily be a birthday card or, or a, a, a miss you card i mean whatever you wanted it to be really just even a hello i'm thinking of you card um i just think it's really cute and 
uh, again it doesn't have to be an image like this you could change the image um, make it more serious and more somber with different colors so I mean it really can be changed very significantly by what image you use what colors you use etc but the, the idea of the style of the card I think works really well anyway that is it for this week I hope you have enjoyed making this card with me and I hope you like it do if you do like it please give it a thumbs up it all helps with youtube i do appreciate that and i would love to hear a comment from you as well because i always love to hear from you guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now